Well, the night of the tornado, we we seen the uh, uh, clouds going to the to the uh, west, and the storm was coming in from the west, so there was bound to be trouble. So we went in to uh, watch the for tornado at the uh, Hazelton Fire Department, and we seen it coming in to town. So we set off the sirens and uh, watched it. Uh, get into the houses south of town and then we seen it uh, electrical arcing at the uh, Horkheimer business and uh, seen the trailers roofs flying in the sky and, and then it left town and uh, we started getting calls immediately for the fire department and uh, we had constant calls till one o'clock in the morning that night and uh, about nine o'clock uh, a guy came to me and said uh, sorry about your place and I said, why? And he's like, well, you don't have anything left. So uh, I, uh, I couldn't leave. I mean, I had search teams out and I had people there and we had command set up at the fire station, so I had to stay. My wife came out and the neighbors were cleaning out the house and getting papers and it was pouring rain and, and they got things settled and then we got done with our calls about one o'clock and we come out. And, with the fire trucks and lit the place up and it was a disaster. It was, I was, it was one of those things where you're glad to get home and you want to see it, but then once you see it, it's like, damn, what are you gonna do? And uh, then I went back in, I, I, we got up again at daylight, I went back to the fire station, we got command rolling again, uh, Red Cross, Salvation Army, you know, and, and uh, then I've been home working ever since. Tremendous amount of community support they're bringing us food water uh, people I work with people I don't even know uh, people I've dealt with through the county through the fire department uh, it's just been wonderful but it's, it's terrible it's very discouraging to get up in the morning and we've got a, a lone camper that we can sleep in we've got no power we've got our clothes are gone everything's gone but you look forward to daylight and then pretty soon the people start coming and it really, really helps. It, it gives you a warm feeling and they, they come to help. Nobody asks for anything back. The Amish uh, came to the fire department yesterday, volunteered their services. They'll, they'll do any kind of labor, build any buildings, uh, if you furnish the materials. So uh, I got with Greenlee Lumber this morning. They delivered this garage that they're building in the background and because we had absolutely no place to put anything in the dry. Uh, everything was torn down. Uh, we just needed to salvage our stuff. And so they're gonna to get to roof on this building today, get it sealed up so the water runs off, and tomorrow we're gonna to tackle the house, try to get it to shed water.